All right, guys, we're going to show you some really cool uh, projects that we're working on. Uh, we brought in some new jeans uh, in the lace project, and we're going to show you what we kind of think that we want to pair it to. And uh, also, we're going to talk to you about our reptile dinner coming up in Tinley. And we're going to show you how to ship animals safely. So stay tuned. Today's video is brought to you by Nutribac DF. For all your bacterial needs, Nutribac DF. It's great with eggs. Just sprinkle a little on. A little pepper. <laughs> Don't eat it. Give it to your reptiles. It's beneficial gut flora. You guys are terrible. <laughs> so we're gonna show you a little breeding project and we want to know what you guys think about our picks for this male and so uh and we'll be showing you him soon because he's still in um quarantine for a little bit longer so he's a white lace 66 percent het clown so he's a possible het clown and we want to prove him out but uh we have a couple other projects we want to put white lace into so the first girl that we're going to be breeding him to is this arroyo and Ryan, why don't you get in here because we just fed her and uh, she can be a little feisty as you can see um, but Rio she could be a Rio we're pretty sure she's a Rio to be honest but um, we keep calling her a Rio just in case so the babies would be lace arroyos possible head clowns uh, so we think that'd be a really killer collection a little clutch there that would be awesome um, she's produced for us before and all of her babies have been Arroyo uh, so we think she's a Rio and uh, Lace Re Arroyos would be awesome and then when we have the possible heck clown in there man be just, fun. Just the possibility of later on down the road making double super clowns that are white lace and Rio would be pretty crazy. Oh yeah so that's one girl that he'll be breeding to And another girl that he'll be breeding to is this Cinnamon Enchi 100% Het Clown. So she's produced for us before. We've been holding off on breeding her to anybody to see what we got in and she's ready to go. Um, she's just uh, waiting for her big boy and it's going to be that white lace 66% het clown. So we have a good shot at producing some clowns that'll help prove him out. Lace, um, lace cinnamon, and she clown. Lace, cinnamon, and she clowns. Should be fun. Cinnamon and lace would be pretty cool looking. White lace, clown stuff down the road um, would be awesome too. But we could, it's possible to get some clowns out of that clutch. So that'll be great. And if we had a lace girl. clown out of that clutch, that's all that would be the only thing I need. <laughs> it's fine. So, a lace Pro clown proving him out and then having a lace clown would be, yeah, amazing. And then the next last girl here is our pastel orange dream. So, we think that that'd be a fun clutch pastel orange dream, lace possible heck clown if he proves out. Uh, we really want to get Orange Dream in with Lace and see what happens. So uh, she's a big girl, beautiful, and uh, we're really excited about that. So, Ryan, what else are we going to try to breed him to? I uh, will show you. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so I think we'll start off over here. This girl, we actually have two girls. They're uh, super enchi females. And I think at least one of them we're gonna put to him uh, because, you know, having a whole lace enchi clutch would probably be interesting. That are possibly head clown. Um, these girls are around about, uh, this is the one I want right here. Yeah, look at those oranges. This girl is around about 950 grams, so she still has a few months to go to put on some weight. I really want to get her up to like 1300 grams-ish before we start pairing her. 
but that's one of the options we were thinking about later on later in this season for a late season late season pairing and the other thing we were looking at this girl just hit I think I weighed her last night and she was 1250 grams she just ate but I'm gonna be real gentle because the lighting isn't that the best on this side and she did smear some poop on herself that's awesome but we have this super triton i believe is a super enchi pastel fire orange dream she's so bright and super duper clean so putting lace into this combination i mean i don't even know what to expect i don't i don't know that the any of these combos have been made yet so if we hit something like this with lace in it uh, i think it'd be pretty impressive so that would be interesting hi So yeah, that's some of the things we're thinking about putting a, the white lace mail to. So leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, and also if you have any better ideas, let us know. I want to do a quick video on how to properly ship an animal, whether it's an animal that likes uh, cooler temperatures or an animal that likes it warmer. Um, here's some quick tips on how to get your animal there safely. So first of all, you always want to get a nice insulated box. I recommend buying ones that are already made to be insulated and don't try to cut your own insulation because if these seams aren't good, it, the seal doesn't work and you're not insulated. So it's kind of pointless if you don't. So we got these from uh, Ship Your Reptiles. Actually, these these were from uh, Superior Shipping Supplies. Oh yeah. We got these from Superior Shipping Supplies. Um, you can also get boxes like these. Uh, actually, the boxes from Ship Your Reptiles come half inch. So these are quarter inch panels, which are good if it's colder out. Um, so yeah, make sure you get a good box. And then you're gonna want to either put your animal inside of a deli cup, which you can see we have punched out holes here. And we always put something in there that's absorbent just in case the animal goes to the bathroom on the trip um, or you could use a, a snake bag with some paper towel in it depending on the size of the animal and then what you'll do if I can make some noise real quick is I'll put this animal in here and I'll put it in sideways I'll get it in like this you dig right and then if it's cold outside you want to put a heat pack uh, you're not going to want to ship if it's below 40 um, but if it's like I probably want to use a heat pack if it's going to be 60 degrees overnight um, but if it's going to be lower than that put a heat pack in and what you want to do is open these up about an hour beforehand and let them prime up because it takes a little bit for them to warm up and so once these are warm and you know what's going on you pop that in there and when you say warm how warm because some people think that it's supposed to be really hot and they don't get like crazy hot these things get to they can actually heat up pretty good um, to like 100 degrees you don't really ever want to use more than one of them um, because you could end up cooking your animal. You never want to make sure you you want to make sure these never come in contact with the animal. So when I'm putting this paper in here, I'm making its own kind of little separated chamber so that it can't get near where my animal is, right? And what I'll do is I'll take some paper like this and kind of like maybe we'll do something like this. And I'm gonna set this in on the side in a way that I know that it's not going to be able to cross over. If you jiggle this box around, it's staying in its own compartment, right? So once, once this lid's on, once this lid's on, that thing's not going to be able to get past this barrier I put in here, right? So we got an animal over here, a big gap of wadded paper, and then over here I have a heat pack. 
Now, if I'm concerned that there's, there's always this kind of middle ground where it's going to be a little too cold for the animal without a heat pack, but if it's potential that the heat pack could warm up the box too much and there are some animals that are a little more delicate, like your Asian rat snakes and stuff like that, that you don't want to get too hot. So that's when you would use this phase 22 cryo pack. And what you do is you put this in the freezer and it kind of absorbs the heat and, and try, uh, keeps the temperature of the container around 72 degrees. It regulates it because it changes from a solid to a liquid and absorbs the heat and it kind of um, spreads out uh, the heat a little more evenly. So you would put heat pack and then I have this little chamber next to the heat pack and my cryo pack goes in and that's in between the heat pack, cryo pack, gap, animal. And that's how I'm going to set it up to ship something that I don't want to get too hot. So heat pack, you want to point out the heat pack on this one? So here's your heat pack, right? And I have a little pouch that I made in the paper to put the cryo pack in between it. So if this thing heats up too much, this thing's going to regulate it to be around 72, 73 degrees inside the box. Gap and then animal. And then there's a big wad of, of paper in between that. So that, you know, there's four inches of space in between the cool pack and five inches of space in between the heat pack and the animal over here. I have it set up in a way that if this thing gets jostled around, flipped, or whatever the FedEx guy is going to do, these things aren't going to move. They're going to stay over here. Then I'm going to hit it with this to kind of seal off those chambers I just made. I'm going to come on top of that with my styrofoam, locking everything in place. I'm going to put my stickers and stuff on top for you guys. I'm going to tape this bad boy up. We're going to make sure we write the species name on the side so we're compliant with the Lacey Act. You can buy stickers for that. And then you're going to hit it with your RB Reptiles brand of tape. This is super important for animal safety. This means you're good to go. And that's how you're going to ship your animal. RB Reptiles tape, I love it. <laughs> so that's, that's how you're going to do that, guys. If you have any more detailed questions, or maybe I didn't explain it well enough because, you know, I'm just a guy like you or a girl. I'm just a girl like you, you know? Just let me know. You can leave us a comment down below, message us on Facebook, Instagram, call Ben's cell phone number anytime, day or night, 856-649-3149. Great, I get it. Thanks guys. I wanna show you guys a little update on our NG Het Pied, or NG Banana Het Pied, excuse me and uh hopefully she doesn't bite me <laughs> but she is just a screamer again we got this from steve winkler and man is she awesome unbelievably bright she's just uh these oranges and the yellows it's just i can't really describe it. i hope the camera's picking it up so she's 100 percent hep pied and this is what a pied looks like one of our pied females were growing up so we want to make this combination here with this pattern so since it has ng in it you know you'll the pattern will be broken up a little bit differently but um it'll still be white it'll probably be a low white pied hopefully but would look awesome to mix pied into these ng bananas man this is just a killer, killer snake. It makes me think that there's uh, something different in there because our Enchi bananas look slightly different. And we did produce quite a few of them. Um, but pied or het pied, I mean, makes things a little darker. So you get a good bit of contrast in there. We look really, really cool. And we have, you know, some pied males to hook into here. Oh man, if we bred her to Miguel's snake, would be pretty cool it would it's not a hundred percent um or whether it's a, they're both hundred percent had pied so he's not a visual so it'll be 50 50 on pieds so comment down below let us know what you think we should breed her to but 
Uh, hopefully Definitely. we make a really cool multi-gene pied male this year with Miguel's because oh, yeah. she's got another year to go. She does. That's true. So, man, unbelievable though, right? Cool snake. All right. So now we are in our tiny little <laughs> um, quarantine room and we are done with the ball python room today. So I'm going to show you the white lace. Uh, stuff that we got going on and uh, real quick so so this is the white lace male that is 66% um, het clown so it's a possible het clown and you guys saw this already um, in one of our other videos <clears throat> lighting in here is making it look really not great but. yeah so this is the we'll have to get better lighting in here but this is the white lace male and he's the one that we'll be breeding to a couple females that we were just showing you. And now, I'll show you a couple more. And this is a female that Ryan picked up. You guys probably saw her on Instagram. She's a pastel lace yellow belly. So you can see how dark around the alien heads she is. That comes from the lace. You got the yellow belly. <clears throat> pixelation and the flames coming up the sides and of course pastel makes everything a bit more yellow so it's really really cool we're excited to grow her up everything looks super orange super orange in this light all right we'll get you guys better pictures uh, at some point and then the last girl that we have in quarantine we're really hopeful uh, getting them out of here soon and the last girl who's a bit smaller is a lace yellow belly so you can see how dark she is and how the patterns a bit beat up especially with these bullseyes here and then of course the yellow belly you see the pixelation in the alien heads you see the flames coming up the sides um, so definitely just three uh, three lace things and that's all that we have in our quarantine rack at the moment look at the head stamp and I apologize for our lighting in here, but uh, these guys are gonna be the ones that we'll be pairing. Obviously we have a year or two, well, probably a year and a half to two years on this little girl. The other one, maybe a year, maybe a little bit more. And that male will be ready when he comes out of quarantine. Um, so we're excited about that. So tell us in the comments below what you think of our lace project. I know it's not a ton of animals yet, but we're getting there. So this video is brought to you by Husky. It's our size of trash can liners. So check these out. Um, these guys make a really great product and they're good for more than just trash can liners. <gasps> no, <gasps> no, Is it working? No, you don't thrust. <gasps> you don't push up. Yeah, what? You can even use them to work out. Just say it. Husky, buy it. Thank you so much again for watching guys. I hope you liked our lace project. I want to remind you that we have Tinley coming up in like a week. So we want to see you there. Make sure to stop and say hi. Also, Army Reptiles Dinner South is coming up April 11th in Deptford and also April 25th up in Edison, New Jersey. So come hang out with us and have fun. We'll talk shop, talk snakes, hand out stickers, eat food. It won't be weird. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you then. I'm waiting for you, I don't know. It's on. Oh. You're supposed to do like a... I don't have one of those things. Hold on. Cut it out. No, Get out of here. Okay. No. No. <laughs> Dave Couillet. I hate oh, you. we didn't do a... We have to do what this video is brought to you by on the last one. And this one. This video is not brought to you by Dave Couillet. <laughs> nah. <clears throat> okay. Cryo packed. Alright. Will your tongue stick to that? No. It's not way it looks really cold, but it's not. So, I mean yeah, it's not as cold as I thought it would be.
We would use Husky Ram. <laughs> This video <laughs> is that your workout outfit. Husky <laughs> brand trash bag. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Can't believe you're ruining that bag. Oh I guess shit. The thing costs like fifty cents. It's for Dude, YouTube. you better write this down. The accountant needs to know. We just we're that successful that we can just destroy company property. Oh, my big arms don't fit through here. Actually, it fits you really well. Shut up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if his jaws are big enough to take a to crack this. Oh crap! He bit me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, just leave it. Why don't you keep your big dumb hands out of there? I want to get that piece of bedding out of there. No, just leave it. It's fine. Just leave this down. It's fine. You got it. It's going to bite you again. It's okay. <laughs> this is one of our dark lines. Look how dark he is. He or she. It's only a little bite. <laughs> <laughs> That's the wrong way, man. It's the wrong way. Come on. Lick off your own tail. What's wrong with you? <laughs> ah, man. He's really got him, though. He's got him.